So guys, welcome back to My Summer Car for the third episode. We have finally finished building the car, again. And we've kind of finished with the garage. There's nothing left in it. So say hello to new Satsuma after Scumbag Flatari ruined the car. I hate that guy so much. I really do. But we're going to paint our car now and we're going to start it up as well. Hopefully it'll start because that's just a pain when it doesn't. So we'll, uh, we'll select two colours to paint our car. One is the black, which we will, we will use for the boot lid. Not the matte black, the shiny black, because the shiny black looks a lot better. And then we're going to maybe go with green, like this green. But I don't know, will blue look a little better? I think that'll be too light, that green. So I think blue would work, because the car's originally blue anyway. So there's not going to be much difference, as you can see. Nice shiny paint. Better than all the uh, the green crap on it. So we'll uh, we'll paint that blue. We painted that blue, so I don't know whether to do the back of the car black. Whether just to do the boot lid black. I mean, I'm doing the boot lid black for now. Because it looks amazing, and that's the thing I know that'll look good on the back. I don't know whether to do, like, half the car blue and half the car black. I mean, the back looks great but then it's just unevenly painted I thought you could paint the roof but you can't it's just stupid so we've kind of finished doing that the phone's ringing which is always a good thing because this better not be the sewage guys or the annoying firewood guy it better be some genuine reason why someone's calling me yes post order we got some upgrades off camera after the last one and building this again I got some new upgrades I've got three new upgrades one is a fuel mix gauge that we can use when tuning the carburetor another one is the racing steering wheel which I made a mistake in getting should have got the rally one but who cares looks good and also I've got a, a window spoiler which is gonna be fun because that'll help us with the speed it'll reduce drag essentially it'll reduce drag the airflow will be a little better, but I don't even know how. It's not Formula One, it's just not. I don't know why, I'm just going to say I'm reducing drag. There's not really, you can't go fast anyway. But yeah, always close the garage and forget to do something. That is my kind of philosophy here. Just don't close the garage. Just don't, and I'll close it anyway. Because <laughs> why not? But yeah, that car looks a lot better now. Looks like a million times better when it's painted. Man, that blue. It. I wish you could get more blue colours. I wish you could get more colours in general so it's not like really strong colours. Like kind of like softer colours with a lot more like white in them rather than just like the, the really like strong colours because they look a bit weird when you contrast them. Anyways, on our little journey we'll take some sausages, put them in the back of the car. And they'll fall down between the seats because that's how physics work. Got a little clock gauge which we can't fit on the dashboard. Because we've got the RPM gauge there. Once we get the separate RPM gauge we can put that on. It's simple as that. Take some milk for good nutrition. As well as to quench our thirst because we don't want to be drinking beer all the time. Because uh, that's illegal. Don't drink and drive kids. That's the number one lesson learned from this video. Do not drink and drive. I do not promote this. It's not fun. Just don't do it. Anyways, let's get this car started. So to pull the choke out, we have to, we have to anyway, because it's just to let all of like the uh, the air into the engine. I think that's what it means. Honk the horn before starting the car for the first time, because why not? Well, let's start up. Oh boy, it coughs into life. It's alive, and it runs with a ticking noise. So we have to get that sorted, and we have to get the wheel alignment sorted, and then we have to tune the carburetor. Things are going to be fun, so I'll cut to the point where I'm at the mechanic. Hopefully he's open. Okay, so we have uh, kind of had a little bit of an issue on the journey. Yes, I had to go on like 90%, well not 90%, 90 degrees right to stay in a straight line. That's how bad the wheel alignment is. I can't cope with this, so hopefully he's open. I want him to be open because I just want to get this sorted. But then I'll have to take the Ferndale back. Didn't think this through. 
Oh wow, the scumbag shot. The scumbag is disappearing. Like, doing vanishing tricks like he's some sort of wizard. Just... I think that guy's a hacker, you know. He's hacking. Get banned, Flatari. Hashtag, ban Flatari. Oh, of course I caught him at the wrong time. It's like freaking like 10 past 6 in the morning, I believe. What a scumbag. What a, what a, what a utter scumbag. Anyways, I don't even know why all this crap's hate, to be honest. This guy just builds everything. I bet you he's built everything that I own, apart from this car. Fun theory right there. Flitari built everything but this car. It'll probably happen. Anyways, let's uh, let's head to the shop since we have like a billion hours of time. We'll uh, pick up our postal order, and yeah, hopefully let's not uh, crash on there. Wow, look at that! I just revved that, didn't I? Put it in neutral. I'm an idiot. Just don't break the. I just don't want to break anything. As you can see here, I'm just like going 90 degrees right. That's how left the car is. Just really left. It's annoying. I'm hoping to get this sorted out. I want the wheel alignment sorted out. Then, That's not even the start. I need to adjust the engine because the engine's ticking. I can't be bothered doing it myself. It's just a pain in the arse. The wheels have to be aligned. That's the f issues, right? There'll be more issues. I can assure you, they can be, there'll, there'll be more issues with the, with this, completely. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this thing performs with a, a really bad wheel alignment on uh, on dirt tracks. But I'm see, I'm only sticking to exactly, kind of exactly, 60 kilometers an hour because it is so unstable. I don't want to go fast. Having to turn right, go full lock right, and end up in a tree because I couldn't like, go right enough. Because the car is stupidly left. That's that's the issue I have. This track will also change because, like at the time of recording this, this was on an older update. There's a newer update now available. Um, so that changes a lot of things. It really does. You won't see it for a few videos, but you know it, it's just there. Just, just a disclaimer right now, this was an older update. But, we're pretty much there at the shop, and the uh, the rally's on. It was a Saturday, funnily enough. And uh, we get a little sneak peek of the rally finish. Hey! Hey! You thought I finished the rally, didn't you? Dude, you're so wrong. Let's uh, wheel spin away. The wheel spin's terrible. The acceleration is just terrible, and the wheel spin's terrible because the acceleration's crap. Because the fuel is not adjusted properly. Oh hey, it's our favourite car. Hey! What a, what a loser that guy is. I hate that guy so much. Right, so let's, uh, let's, let's go around and let's say hi to him for one last time. Let's do a drive-by middle finger. Kind of, well, it's not drive-by middle finger, but you know. Take this, yellow car. This is this is how much trouble you've caused me. That's how much I respect you, fellow car owner. Don't know what else to call him. He's just a maniac, isn't he? He's the uh, the maniac of this section of Piriyavi. Apart from I don't even know about green car. I'll be honest, I haven't seen the guy. We'll uh, we'll pack up here. Hopefully, this isn't a bad mistake. I just want to park here because it's closer to the shop. So we'll uh, obviously get out the other side because I'm an idiot and park my driver's side right next to the uh, the thing. But I don't even know why I couldn't open it. That guy's just annoying. Oh wait, I'm no. You remember when I went to the the mechanic? That was in, at the night time, kind of. I think. Whoops, kind of call that guy a bit too late, <laughs> like, two hours too late. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go into Timor's shop and buy some stuff. 219 marks for some brake fluid, I think it was. We bought and some beers. You what, mate? Ripping us off. All right, well, we need to, we'll, we'll put all the, uh, the grocery stuff. I don't know why they're in the bag. It looks full, but it's not. It shouldn't be full. 
Alright, 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 team, alright. I'm gonna grab the beer, because I need the beer. And then I'll, uh, I'll leave. Oh god, yellow car. No, 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 no. You're not running me over. What a maniac. Maniac. Good job you're not driving a Peugeot. Wait, what are you, what are you doing? Oi! Scumbag. Scumbag number two. Scumbag number two just wrecked my freaking car. You dick. I don't like you anymore. In fact, I never liked you, you idiot. You maniac. Good job he didn't cause much damage. He's basically an asshole, but in this, it's pussy. That's what he is. He's just saying that constantly. He is not Satan, but that's Flatari. He is Satan. Confirmed. Let's uh, let's try to get this beer in the car without uh, getting run over. Well, that guy is just going to continue crashing into the fence, so we'll take this opportunity to... Uh, in that, put the beer in the back and hopefully he doesn't run me over. Oh god, he's, he, he's reversing. Shit. No, no, no. Right, as long as you don't drive up my car again, we're good. Right, go that way. Go right. Go that way and spin into a building or something. Right, there you go. Dude, do you even have any good driving skills? You're just spinning out constantly. Reminds me of me. Early car game enthusiast. Oh boy. Fun days. Anyways, let's get back in the car. Let's get out of here before I yell. Oh god, there he is. Yellow car is busy doing donuts. Showing off to no audience whatsoever. Other than his idiotic self. This guy. This guy has just, like, basically broken my car. I'm gonna chase after this bugger. Go! Wheel spinning and it's lights out. Oh, where we go? It's not Formula 1. Lights out. Where, where's he gone? Wait, where's he gone? Where's he gone? He's just magically disappeared. Well, he's gone. We'll uh, we'll try to find him. Let's uh, let's go and explore this road with a a very bad wheel alignment. That's always fun, isn't it? See, I'm going full left there, full left there, and I got beached. I be no, I don't want to beach this. No, don't beach the car. Not now. Oh, that didn't sound good. That there's something broken. And now there's trees glitching through my car. Something's broke off. What is it? Let's, let's go through trees. Oh boy, the fender. Such fun. Well, that's that's a bummer, isn't it? We'll just put that in the back seat. Saving weight, you know. Oh, I thought the fenders looked a lot better inside than outside of the car. Just insane. Right, if I can open the door, that'll be uh, that'll be fantastic. Although I can't open that door for some weird reason, so I have to go in the passenger side again. This is why this game is so fun, because you have to go through the passenger side, because you can't do this in real life. Well, you can, but it's just not often, is it? It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Now I've got a fender in the rear view of my mirror. Nice one. I can only see a fender now. Oh wow, the door was actually open. The driver's door was actually open. Oh boy, it actually shut itself. No, don't crash. Right there, it's shut now. Don't open again. Okay, don't open door. Right, let's uh, let's go and continue the hunt. Oh wait, I, I see him. There he is. Scumbag. It's a Mexican standoff at two ends of the crossroads. Come on. Give me what you got. And he's doing donuts because he's a prick. I just want the bus to come, please. At that point, I just wanted the bus to come, really. Right, let's, let's chase this guy. Oh, God, he's got some horsepower behind that thing, hasn't he? I'm catching him, though. I'm catching him. Hey, you haven't got much horsepower behind you now, have you, son? My car's got better horsepower, and even though it's got a wheel alignment issue. Let's, uh, let's try not get run over here. Um, why am I stop? No. No, just go. Just go. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun journey. Trying to catch yellow car. Right, look, yellow car's like half the way, half the way in front now. Oh, now you pick your time to come, bus. Why can't you just... Why couldn't you just set off and then whack that guy? Or just steer slightly to the left to whack him. The guy's gone. The guy's just like flown away. 
Looks like we're not catching that guy. One day we will. One day we will redo that challenge and we will get yellow car. But first, since we uh, we got on this road in the first place, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get to a decent speed without crashing. God, we're already up to 140 k's with like steering right constantly. <laughs> this is the best challenge ever. I'm just steering right. Even I've went full lock right, and it still goes left. Let's see what we're at. 160 nearly. Wow. I have to slow down for this corner. Yeah, we have to slow right down to like 100k. Just to get around this corner. Just don't be in the path of any cars. Oh, well, the, wait, the radio went weird then. The radio went extremely weird. Anyways, 120. Let's uh, let's increase that. We've got four gears. I wish we had a better gearbox. I want a better gearbox with like six gears. I wish that was a thing. Probably isn't. You know, that'll make life a lot easier, right? 140, no problem. We're going downhill though. This is this is kind of hills playing into acceleration here, not pure acceleration in this thing. That's the drag strip, and we need to test that. Drag racing is so fun. But we'll uh, we'll have to do our top speed test. We've got around about 158-ish before I had to slow down for that corner. I wonder if we can actually hit 160, or whether we're going to have to like tune the car to get it to that. I mean, the temperature's already like halfway, and there's another car coming that way. Right, so we're basically at 120, oh, 110, slowing down. Yeah, just gonna slow down because the. Uh, the temperature is a little bit up there, but we cut further on when we're going back to Piriavi. Of course, there's the bus. We see him for a second time. Yeah, basically, like, we just before that first left-hand bend, we got about 158, I'm guessing. So that's not bad. We'll, uh, we'll retry that once we uh, have, like, our car in better condition. Possibly when we've got upgrades as well. Of course, I'll have to do the high-speed test before to see if it actually does anything better. So if we can get to about 160, maybe even break the gauge. Who knows? Uh, we'll just pull back up at the shop because I am extremely hungry from all of that. From all of that driving. It's a quite a long way, you do realise. I was trying to go a lop, but then, uh, yeah, that was, uh, was kind of a pain. Oh, wait, I can hear the radio. Let's have... A beer before we go though, before we get out the car. Chuck it out the window like a scruff we are. Take the beers for the boys in the pub because we can hear the music. The rock and roll song is on. And I can't get out of there again because I'm an idiot and parked it too close to the fence. <sighs> God damn it. Life. Let's let's have another beer. Let's take the beers for the boys and there we go. Got two of them there, we'll just leave the beer. We'll have a third beer because that's how, uh, that's how mad we are. Let's celebrate. That didn't even break the window, which is surprising. Let's celebrate building our own car and it reaching like 158 mile an hour. And it actually runs this time. So let's uh, let's go buy it right if it stays. Like, let's buy a beer for eight marks, which is not bad. It really is not bad. Although this guy likes to rip people off constantly. I'm surprised, mate, right? You haven't even got any, like, competitors. I prefer the individual bottles because it's just, the, yeah, you get the caps on them and you get to hold the bottles. I prefer that. Right, let's uh, let's let's go and win millions on this. Well, I say millions. We, we probably won't. Drunk playing slot machines. You've you seen it here first. Let's, uh, let's put in uh, 20 credits. Let's see if we can win something on this. Knowing my luck on slot machines, we won't. Yeah, that was a pain. Um, I don't even know what all these mean. I know the red means hold. I know that much. Well, that was a waste. We've, uh, we've got three different people there. Right, let's let's roll. Oh, boy. That's a pain. Roll again. Come on. Come on. Give us something here. All right. Fourth time, maybe? Oh boy, we got like two of those guys. Right, let's see if we can win something. Oh boy, yes. Get in. We've got more money. Yay. We won something. 
Wait, this is the death song. Death song playing when we're on the slot machines. Yay. I love this song. God damn it. Right, we've got two of those guys again. Let's let's hold those two. Right, so we can win something. Oh boy, that's that's another couple of credits for me. Thank you very much. Right, let's uh well, it's surprising that we don't actually get cash from the machine, which is sad. Right, let's uh, let's claim our reward, because apparently if you get one coin, it's like two marks. Which isn't bad at all. It really is not bad. Right, let's roll. Come on, let's get somewhere. We've got two of those guys. Why can't I hold? Why can't I hold? They make a nice noise. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop. Oh, wait, I forgot to claim. Whoopsies. Anyways. Uh, well, we kind of waited to go there, to be honest, because we couldn't hold, because I was an idiot and didn't realise. So we got that guy. We got three different guys. Nice one. I'm just going to name things that guy, because I don't know. So we got the suited guy. We got the scruff guy, and then we got the other suited guy. I don't even know what that blue button does. It just makes nice noises. I got no credits. Oh boy, we can put all our five credits that we've got in the bank back into the machine. Let's go. We've got two suited guys and another suited guy. Can I hop? No! I'm out of credits. God damn it. Right, can I have another beer, please, Timo? Right, let's, uh, let's drink this beer. Thank you very much, Timo, my friend. My friendly friend. Hey. Do you like my beer? Hey. You guys are flailing out. Are you okay? Sounds like you're having fun there. Just whacking the table constantly. Have that on me. Is yellow car back yet? Oh, we're having a little dance first. Because it's death song music. Because everyone loves dancing to the death song. Whoa, don't go through the roof, boy. That's how that's how drunk this guy is. Wants to go through the roof. Hey. Do you like my dancing? Do you like my dancing, Timo? It's, the, it's called the thumb dance. Whoa. Trippy, isn't it? Cut him. He's just looking at me. He's thinking, what a fucking idiot this guy is. Look at him. He's just staring at me. Timo, you need to join my friend. But for now, we're going to leave. So thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoy your table bashing competition. Just, just why? Why that's bashing the tables? What are losers? Losers! That happened. Beer just likes to jump around. The beer is alive. Right, let's, uh, let's go back home. Wow, it's really dark. It's extremely dark. How can I see in this? By the way, our exhaust fell off. That's why it sounds weird. Oh boy, it looks like it's re it's really weird at night. So let's just drive the car in here, which is probably a bad mistake. We picked up our shop order as well, which will uh will ditch all the upgrades out of the car if we can get the car door open. Thank you for opening. And we also lost our fender earlier on, so if we didn't even fit that back on. It was. It seemed too much of a waste. Plus, we didn't have our toolbox. So let's uh, let's put the, the muffler back on. Because that's important. Because otherwise, it'll just be noisy constantly. If it wants to go back into place... God damn this game. Am I really that drunk that I can't even fix a freaking exhaust? I mean, it's in the right place. Hey, can I, can I please just, like... Fit this in. Please just go. There. It was there. It was there. It was there. There we go. Right. Step number one. Done. Step number two. Fasten the thing. Just don't whack the underside of the car for anything ever again. And we're sorted. Right. That's done. Now we'll uh, get the fence. The lights are gone out because something's happening in the world. And let's grab all of the uh, the upgrades, and we will 
put them on in the next episode. Because right now, fatigue level is up, dirtiness is ridiculous, and that package somehow glitched itself from the back seat into the boot. Magic tricks. So magic. That's the spoiler, by the way. That took out the bonnet. And there's our little shopping bag full of brake fluid that we'll, uh, we'll need to top up eventually because I think I used all the brake fluid. Lights keep going out. God damn it, I can't see. Can't You can't see in this game. But anyway, that's going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next video, I shall see you all next time.